Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first of our three-part series of Yoga for Badminton with Michael Connolly. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Michael for joining us yet again to deliver what will be a brilliant workshop, um, and I hope that you all enjoy the session. I won't keep you too long and eat into Michael's time, so I'll pass over to Michael um, and look forward to the session. Thanks a million, Carla. And um, thank you to Badminton Ireland for this opportunity again to present um, yoga for badminton players. Welcome again to Waterford Badminton Club, Lady Lane, I, which um, as much I love the club and I'm so familiar. And every time I see it on camera, I'd be just so proud of how well it looks. A big thank you to Eamon Rockus, my fellow yoga teacher, who's here to be your Zoom guide. We feel that having a Zoom guide is the best way to work so that you can follow my instructions verbally and you can watch Eamon's movements. We're delighted to be offering you three different sessions and because there's three different sessions we had to contemplate what's the best way to present this to you what can we give you that will work best for you and especially if you're missing the badminton at the moment and you're not getting on court and not getting your usual aerobic workout so what we're going to do what we're going to do today is we're offering a flow class so this really is the whole class is going to be built around something in yoga called the salute to the sun so it's going to be constant moving and breathing, constant moving and breathing. So please do what you can. You know, if you need to take a little rest, take a little rest and come back in. Um, otherwise, you know, over time, please know over time, this will build for you. And we're presenting it in kind of like a mid space, which might be challenging for some and not challenging enough for others. Um, take it and see what you can do with it. Every yoga class starts with some breathing. Then we do the physical asana, and then we do some shavasana, some relaxation. So the invitation is to simply lie out on your back, arms down by your sides. And we'll begin with a few minutes of deep breathing. The breath practice we're going to do today is called the abdominal breath. However, we don't breathe into the abdominal area. It's simply that the abdominal area moves to facilitate breath. So if you would like, just place your hands just on your low belly so that you can feel this area of your body moving. Let's mentally rehearse one first of all. So with your eyes closed, just let your body soften a little bit. And imagine that in a moment I will be inviting you to inhale. And as I do, I'll also be cueing, inviting you to push your belly up towards the ceiling. This facilitates your diaphragm, your largest breathing muscle, moving down into your body and allowing the lungs to fill more. Then we'll pause before the exhale. And then as you exhale through your nose, you'll gently draw your belly back down towards the floor. This will cause the diaphragm to move upwards into your chest more and to facilitate the releasing of breath. So let's begin. Inhale in through your nose, pushing your belly up towards the ceiling and pause. Exhale out through the nose, drawing your belly back down towards the floor and pause. Inhale in through the nose, pushing the belly up towards the ceiling, and pause. Exhale out through the nose, drawing the belly back down towards the floor, and pause. Inhale in through the nose, belly moving up towards the ceiling, and pause. Exhale out through the nose, belly descending down towards the floor. Now, each and every one of you, Continue at your own rate and speed. Each and every one of you have your own breath, rate and speed. So simply move beyond what's the right way to breathe and simply just follow this model of breathing. Where on the inhale, the belly lifts to facilitate the diaphragm moving down and the filling of the bottom of the lungs. And on the exhale, the belly descends so that the diaphragm moves up and it facilitates the releasing of the breath. So simply breathe easefully and breathe deeply. Now the good news here is, as the diaphragm begins to expand and contract, as it does with this breath, yeah, our body is hardware, our body mind is hardware to release serotonin, endorphin, all of the feel good chemicals into the bloodstream. So this easeful deep breathing, it's like a reset for your mind and a reset for your body. It naturally dissolves stress and tension that would have been, that we may have brought into this moment. And it creates a clean space, clean slate, if you will, in this moment, which in a while we'll build upon with our asana. But for now, 
simply breathe, moving the belly up on the inhale, belly descending on the exhale, and simply start to soften into the breath, nearly like relax into it, enjoy it a little bit more. Breath by breath, breathing yourself into the present moment. More. Continue to do this for maybe 90 more seconds at your own rate and speed. And enjoy. It's natural for the mind to wander. And it's equally natural for your mind to come back to the breath. And each breath is an invitation. An invitation to meet yourself in the moment through the breath. The invitation now for the remaining two breaths is to simply continue with the inhale, but as you're exhaling, just slow down and lengthen the exhale. And as you slow down and lengthen the exhale, it's nearly like you just change how the mind and the body are connected. And you move yourself into a quieter space, into a more... So simply just a little bit more emphasis, deeply, richly invested in the exhale. Just let it out slowly, 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 slowly. Now keep your eyes closed and release the breath back into its own natural flow, unguided. Let the breath just breathe naturally and flow naturally. And with your eyes closed, just have a little inquiry. How do you feel now as a result of breath practice? And the question is not, there's different dimensions to your mind. And there's one part of your mind that loves to build reason and everything. So the question is not, how good were you at the breath? The question is simply, how do you feel now as a result of the breath? And as you notice how you feel, you build a bridge. A bridge in your mind and body. This can even be easier and more nurturing. Simply smile ready, softly and gently. Open your eyes. When you're ready, to the right and slowly, slowly, slowly come all the way up to standing. So in yoga, we have a series of movements that's called the Salute to the Sun, or Surya Namaskara. And it's about lighting your own inner fire. So it's about stimulating your own inner metabolism, if you like. So getting and moving. So simply do what you can, enjoy it. If it's a bit challenging, build up to it over the weeks. If you'd like more challenge, we can work, you know, contact me and we'll tell you how to make it a little bit more challenging. So we're going to begin now with just synchronizing movement and breath, movement and breath. And the truth is that every time we breathe deeply, the rib cage begins to expand. And as the rib cage expands, the arms naturally move out from the body. So we're going to begin with what's called mountain waves. So you're standing tall, just like Eamon is, hands down by your sides and wait for it. And I'll cue you in a moment and inhale. And as you begin to inhale, you take your hands up over your head like so. And then on the exhale, you'll take your hands back down by your sides. We're just going to do three of them to begin. So hands down by your sides. Inhale, take the hands all the way up over your head. Pause at the peak of the inhale. Exhale, take the hands back down by your sides. And pause. Two more. Inhale, full elongation. The hands come all the way up over your head, synchronizing breath and movement. Exhale, hands come all the way down by your sides. And again, inhale, hands come up over your head. Pause, exhale, hands down by your sides. And just pause here in the space for a moment. Now we're going to add a forward bend. So just follow along the best that you can. And ideally, your fingertips touch the floor. Now, not the, not the heels of the hands, just the fingertips. And you can bend your knees as deeply as you need to for this. So again, just follow along the cue your best you can and have a little look at aim and if you're unsure of what it is that you're being invited to do. So stand tall again, synchronize movement with breath. So inhale, take the hands up over your head. Now on the exhale, 
exhale, take the hands through center as you hinge forwards and touch the floor. Inhale, press the legs through the floor and inhale and come all the way up. And exhale, hands down by your sides. And that's one, we're doing two more of these. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold, hinge all the way over, touch the fingertips to the floor. Inhale, press the legs through the floor as you come all the way up. Exhale, hands down by your sides. One more of these guys. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press the legs through the floor as you come all the way up. And on the next exhale, hands come down by your sides. And just again, just pause for a moment, just go into that little mid space between movements. The next one Eamon is gonna demonstrate for you. Yeah, and then we'll do three of them. So it's very similar, except we add in what's called a half lift. Now, the idea of the half lift is, when you're in a forward bend, your front body, if we were to take the geography from your, from your chin you know, to your waist, your front body gets smaller in a forward bend. Yeah? In a back bend, your front body gets longer and your back body gets shorter. In half lift, you're coming up to make both your front body and back body equally length. So you're elongating the spine again before you go into the next forward bend. So please, if you've never done this before, please just watch Eamon for the first one. So again, just please, your, the invitation is to watch. So inhale, hands come up over your head. Exhale, just like we did before, hands through center, all the way forwards and touch the floor. And you can see the way Eamon's spine now is rounding gently. Now the half lift then is inhale and come up. It's like he comes halfway up out of it. Fingertips, even for a moment, Eamon, take your hands off the floor because lots of people at home will be doing that and come up a little higher and then exhale forward fold again. There you go. Now drive the legs through the floor, inhale, come all the way up, and exhale, hands down by your sides. So there's a few more movements in it, follow along the best as you can. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Here's the new movement, inhale, half lift, where you lengthen your spine both front and back, and then exhale, forward fold, deeper into that forward fold. Inhale, coming away from the floor, drive your legs through the floor and come all the way up again. And exhale, hands down by your sides. That was one, two more. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root the legs through the floor as you inhale and come all the way up. Exhale, hands down by your sides. One more, everybody. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, hands through center and touch the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, drive the legs through the floor as you inhale and come all the way up to standing and exhale, hands down by your sides. And just pause again for a moment, just close your eyes, just go inside and just pause for a moment. Okay, guys, so we're going into the full salute to the sun now. So again, if this is new to you, I'd nearly say to you to watch the first one. I'm, I'm inviting you to join, but if you, you know, do the best to follow along, but if it's new to you, maybe watch the first one and then join in. So that's, you know, that decision is totally, totally up to yours, up to you. So it contains the movements we already did, plus some more movements. Standing tall. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold, touching the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Here's the new movement. Inhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat for what's called low lunge. And just pause here and let your pelvis settle. You can take your back knee down like Gaiman's doing, or you can keep your back knee up. Inhale, step back to downward facing dog. Again, look at Eamon if you're unsure of this. Exhale. Inhale, come forward to board pose, the up press up position. And pause here. Exhale, take your knees to the floor. Inhale, breathe into your back body and get bright. Exhale, come forwards and down to love the floor. Just to literally connect to the floor. Inhale, come all the way up for cobra pose. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, guys. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, 
exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. On the next inhale, step your right foot to the front of the mat or as close as you can get it to the front of the mat. And on the exhale, just pause. On the next inhale, step the left leg to the front of the mat. We're in forward fold. Inhale, half lift, where we lengthen and open up the spine. Exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, root the legs deeply as you come all the way up. And exhale, hands down by your sides. That's half a salute because we led with the right leg. Now we're going to lead with the left leg. So inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands through center and touch the floor. Inhale, half lift, lengthening your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps to the back of the mat. Again, keeping the knee up if you can, but if you need to take it to the floor, by all means. On the next inhale, step your right foot back for downward facing dog. Just exhale here. Inhale, come forwards to board pose, which is the up press up position. Exhale, take your knees to the floor. Inhale, breathe into your back body and exhale, come forwards and down to lie onto the floor. On the next inhale, press the hands into the floor, pull the hands back and come all the way up into cobra pose. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. When you're ready, on the next inhale, step your left foot to the front of the mat. On the exhale, just pause for a moment. On the inhale, step the right foot to the front of the mat. Exhale and go fully into your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root deeply and inhale and come all the way up. Exhale, hands through center. That's one salute to the sun, guys. We're going to do two more and we'll have a little pause at that stage. So inhale, e full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat. And on the exhale, just pause. Inhale, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Just exhale here and go into quietness. The next inhale, come forwards to board pose, the up press up position. On the exhale, take your knees to the floor. Inhale into your back body and get bright. Exhale, come forwards and down and land onto the floor. Inhale, press the feet, hands through the floor and inhale and come all the way up for cobra pose, a back bend. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale forward, sorry, step that right foot to the front of the mat. Pause for a moment. On the next inhale, step your left foot to the front of the mat. Exhale, full forward bend. So you're yeah, getting into that forward bend. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root deeply and inhale and come all the way up. Exhale, hands through center. Left leg lead. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps to the back of the mat. Exhale and pause. Inhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Exhale and pause. Inhale, forward board pose. Exhale, take your knees to the floor. Inhale into your back body. Exhale, come forwards and down to the floor. Inhale, come all the way up for cobra pose. Exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. In through the nose, out through the nose. One. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, step the left foot to the front of the mat. 
exhale your pelvic inhale, step the back foot to the front of the mat. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root those legs deeply as you inhale and come all the way up. And exhale, hands through center. One more this time round. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Exhale, pelvis settles. Inhale, left foot steps to the back of the mat. Exhale, pause. Inhale, forward board pose. Now stay here as you just exhale, unless you need to, if you feel you need to take your knees to the floor. Inhale into the back body and exhale and come forwards and down. This is more of a challenge because the knees are not on the floor. Come all the way down to the floor and inhale, come all the way up for Cobra Pose. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Step that right foot to the front of the mat. Exhale, the pelvis simply settles. On the next inhale, the back foot steps to the front of the mat. Full forward fold, everybody. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root deeply and inhale and come all the way up. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Left leg lead. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps to the back of the mat. Pause for a moment. Inhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Downward facing dog. Just pause here. Inhale, forward to board pose. And as you exhale, just soften, but the choice is to take your knees down here or not. Inhale into the back body, and on the exhale, come forwards and down. Inhale, come all the way up for cobra pose. Exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Step the left foot to the front of the mat. Pause for a moment. On the next inhale, step the right foot to the front of the mat. Pause as you exhale fully. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root deeply and inhale and come all the way. And exhale, hands down by your sides. A short little meditation and then we'll do one stronger salute. So just for the moment, just turn your palms up like so. Now, ideally, you don't want your hands at the height of your head, of your center of your chest, your heart space. So with your hands turned upwards, simply close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, simply journey your mind, become more mindful of your right hand. And for a moment, just notice richly and be invested richly into your right hand. And just notice, notice the temperature of your right hand. Notice the feeling tone of your right hand. Notice awareness and sensations in your right hand. Now very quickly switch your awareness to your left hand. And again, just notice the temperature. Go into the feelings and the sensations, the awareness, and very casually turn your palms now so that both hands are pointing towards each other. And very gently now, it's not stop, start, one movement, move your hands towards each other with your eyes closed, simply noticing what's here to be known, feeling what's here to be felt. When your hands are about three inches apart, just pause and pulse them in and out gently. Just noticing every change in temperature, every change in feeling tone or awareness. Just noticing, simply noticing, just an exercise and mindful noticing. Now bring the hands together in front into the prayer pose in front of your heart. From here, smile your eyes and open your eyes and then take your hands down by your sides. The next salute is a little bit stronger. So we're gonna come up from the lunge into a high lunge and we're only going to do one of these as an example. And of course, in your home practice, or you, you know, if you're substituting it for your badminton, you could do more of these. So standing tall, inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat. 
exhale, settle. Inhale, draw the legs towards each other and come all the way up with your hands up over your head, full stretch here. Exhale, hands together, come down, touch the floor and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward board pose. Exhale, move forwards and down towards the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Just the one exchange of breath here. Inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, step your right foot to the front of the mat. Exhale, pelvis settles. On the next inhale, draw the legs towards each other and come all the way up. The hands fully up over your head, full stretch and a smile. Exhale, hands come center, touch the floor and step forwards, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, forward fold. Root the legs deeply and inhale and come all the way up. And exhale, hands down by your sides. And again, left leg lead. Inhale, full elongation. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot step. Exhale, pelvis settles. Inhale, draw the legs towards each other and come all the way up to high lunge. Exhale, hands through center, touch the floor and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply, exhale freely. Word board inhale, come forwards and down towards the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale deeply, exhale freely. Step your left foot to the front of the mat. Exhale, your pelvis settles. On the next inhale, draw the legs towards each other and come all the way up to full high lunge. Exhale, hands to center, touch the floor. And step for half lift, exhale forward fold, root deeply and inhale, come all the way up, full elongation and hands through center. Well done everybody. So you've got the basic salute to the sun, you've got a little bit more of a challenging salute to the sun and they're just offered as a set of movements and breathing that light up your inner fire, keep you mobile and hopefully fill a little gap while we're waiting to get back onto the court. So now we do a little bit of what's called Shavasana, which is relaxation, or it's where we integrate the benefits. So if you just lie out on your back, on your mat, and the yoga thinking behind this is that there's benefits to all of those movements you've just done, and you feel the benefits immediately. But when you take five minutes just to lie out at the end of the class, that's when you integrate them into your muscle memories and into your cellular awareness, into consciousness, if you will. So with your arms down by your sides, the invitation is to simply close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, simply become more aware of your body. And even soften the story that you build around your body so that it's just balance both legs from your body equally. Lengthen both arms from your shoulders equally. And take your awareness to the bottom of your ear and trace your awareness to the corner of your mouth on both sides to soften your jawline. Let your breath be exactly as it is, becoming quieter and relaxing a little bit more. The invitation is to simply do a short meditation practice while your body is resting. And the invitation is to simply use what's called a mantra in yoga. And a mantra is a repeated sound that creates a channel for your mind energy to move into. And there's loads of different yoga mantras. But for us this, mo this morning or today, it's going to be soften, S-O-F-T-E-N. So how you do this is you just notice your breath. It's going to be an inhale and it's going to be followed by an exhale. And as you begin to exhale, simply inside your mind, silently and mentally, you say the word soften. There's another inhale. And on the exhale, there's another inhale. On the exhale, soften. 
And for the next three minutes of time, with each breath and each exhale, simply say the word self. And with each repetition, you can begin to say the word soften with an ever increasing softening tone of voice until it becomes just like a whisper, a soft impression in your consciousness that steers all of you towards a softening, a relaxing, a deep, restful awareness. And it's the most natural thing in the world that your mind will get spiked and go to a thought outside of yourself and get distracted. But it's equally natural to bring your mind back. And it matters little how many times your mind moves away from this. All that's important is that you gently steer it back to the breath, to the soften, and to the deep integration of all of the movements, Surya Namaskara, the lighting of Agni, as we call it in yoga, the internal fire, your ability to metabolize life. Again, if your mind wanders, just gently bring it back to the breath. Each breath, a new invitation, and a new opportunity just to align your body and your mind. Soften. very gently release your awareness from the breath, release your awareness from the mantra. And simply again, a reflective moment. How do you feel now as a result of the breath, the movements, the salute to the sun, and the little soften meditation? Now the question is not how good were you? How did, well did you get on? The question is simple. How do you feel now as a result? For a moment, roll your eyes downwards as if you're looking deep down inside yourself. Connect deeply with your body and connect with a sense of lightness, a sense of wellness, a sense of feeling good inside. Breathe into this and allow it to grow and flow. Let this become kind of like your baseline feeling, if you will. Now smile your eyes behind closed eyelids and begin to deepen your breath. And with deepening breath, simply move fingers and move toes until it's perfect for you to bend up your knees, roll over to the right and come all the way up to sitting. So guys, obviously, you could make this class longer, you could pause it and go back and play the salutes again if you have more time. And if it's something that is new to you, take your time to learn it. And um, if you have any questions for us, please feel free to contact us. We'd only be delighted to share any information you may need so that you can get the most from this practice and that you can get the most from your yoga in general that will enhance your badminton. So from myself and Eamon, thanking Badminton Ireland, thanking Lady Lane Badminton Club for allowing us in to use the premises and to thank each of you for attending. Namaste. Thank you all guys. Thanks so much, Michael, for that. And just on that, if anyone does have any questions for Michael, please feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll pass them over to him over the next couple of days and we can address them for you next week. Looking forward to session two and three. That was certainly tough for me with no experience of yoga. Thanks a million, Michael. Thanks a million, Carla. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>